TV for one other event. I'm here having a traditional wedding for some Nigerian Americans. I call it Park Marriott in Maryland. Now it's a big setup I came up out, out with today. Um, I brought my three-way speakers and my KW181 subwoofers. We also provided up lighting for the entire hall today. And then I also brought my moving head. So it's, it's kind of a big event today. I had to bring out a lot of stuff for them today. So you guys will see how it looks real soon. So this is the setup guys, those are my two KW-153 three-way speakers, my two KW-181s, the Beam 230 moving heads, um, my Rockville DJ facade, my screams, um, the speaker stands are also by Rockville and then the subwoofer stands are by QSC, that's the one that came with the, with the QSC subwoofer, what you guys think about it man? Let me know in the comments. So for today we're using um, my Numark NS62 for the DJ system, my Bluedio UFO Pro Plus for the DJ headphones, my MacBook Pro running Serato DJ, my GTD audio wireless microphone, the second laptop over here running Freestyler. This is what's gonna control the moving heads today. That's what it is today, guys. That's the setup. The hall is still being decorated right now. I came pretty early. I'll be leaving and I'll be coming back to um, to start the performance. But there's also a live band setting up as well. So it's going to be me and a live band. I play some, then the live band takes over. That's how it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Okay, guys. Um, it's your boy DJ Flochins. I'm back again. I'm gonna go change. Need to look fresh, look cool. You know, feel fresh with myself after all the setup and all the the, the lifting of the heavy equipment. But basically, um, they're still trying to get the hall ready and uh, trying to make everything still look nice and neat. I'm gonna show you guys how the hall looks now so far. I mean, there's been a huge transformation in how the hall looks. So you guys look at it, you know, tell me what you think. The moving heads are still doing really nice. Everything looks looking real good. Um, the caterers are getting ready. The decorators are still putting finishing touches. Uh, the videographer and the photographer are here. You know, everybody's trying to get the best shots of all they can get. So let me show you guys what it looks like now. So you guys have seen the setup. This is how the setup looks with everything. We're gonna do a, a, a spin round. The hall is still being getting, it's still being prepared. Everybody's adding finishing touches to decorators. Um, the live band is already fully set up. Um, the videographer, the photographer, the bar is over there. Um, These are the up lights that I'm using. Where you're going with blue today. It's all over the hall. Trying to make the whole thing look nice and neat.
um so i'm back at home now i've offloaded all the stuff all my equipment my speakers the con my dj controller everything i've offloaded everything um it was pretty stressful because today was really cold that was something i had an issue with today um it was very cold so um um loading and offloading oh, wasn't too nice at all it was pretty cold However, there's something I wanted to bring to you guys' notice. I don't know whether you guys have ever had an encounter with a situation like this. So basically what happened was at this event, there was a live band and then I was the DJ performing. You know, and in the Nigerian American community, there is usually a live band when the couples are having their traditional wedding. And in that scenario, the live bands tend to get sprayed and giving monetary gifts while they're performing. And this has been happening over the years. So along the line, live bands have become accustomed to receiving all those monetary gifts while they are performing. And a lot of them actually do look forward to it. You know, they look forward to receiving those monetary gifts while they are performing. So they, 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 they're always kind of in a hurry to start their performance so that they can have a longer time to perform and make more money. However, what they did today was what I really didn't like because we had a set time for both parties to start playing or start performing. What happened was the live band was trying to cut into the DJ time, my time. You know, they were trying to cut into my time and reduce the time I was going to perform for so that they could quickly start performing and then start receiving the monetary gifts that they usually do. And I had no problem with that. However, we had a set time and I don't want to, I don't want it to seem like um, the DJ uh wasn't sure what he was doing or didn't know what he was doing or wasn't professional about what he was doing so i called the event coordinator and i told her i said look this is what's going on and then she spoke to them and everything and then they initially stopped you know trying to cut into my time and everything but then they resumed trying to cut into my time again you know and um in this particular event the live band had a big setup i mean they had tons of speakers tons of stuff they had a way bigger setup than i had i mean i just had two QSC KW153 and two QSC KW181. And that is not enough compared to what the live band had. So the live band could easily drown out my music. I mean, you know, so and that's what they were trying to do. So when they started doing it again, I called the event coordinator. And at that point, the groom was already getting angry. I mean, he had to take the intervention of his bride to literally try to calm him down. And, you know, um, you know, let him know that everything is going to be handled by the event coordinator. So the event coordinator literally had to go back there and tell them that, look, they need to stop it and cut it out. So they eventually stopped that. And then, you know, I had I, I could resume my performance. But there was some kind of like a mix mash of music, different types of music playing because the live band was trying to kick in while I was still performing. So it sounded really weird and everything, you know, but that went by. So basically that was how that whole thing just happened. I really didn't like it, but... I'm kind of used to it because it usually happens. So a lot of times, whenever I'm have, I'm, I, I get booked for weddings, I tend to tell the event coordinator that, look, this is what's going to happen. We need to have a, a firm time whereby I start and I stop. And then the live band, if there is a live band, where they can, you know, start and then continue with whatever they have to do. But we really tr we need to have a fixed time so that everybody knows what time everybody's supposed to start and what time everybody's supposed to stop so that we can avoid any kind of conflict. You know, this... This industry is pretty small. We tend to know each other. So the last thing you want is to try and create any kind of chaotic situation for anybody to know, to make anybody look bad. You know, but overall, everything went nice. The event went well. In this event, you know, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, um, I used two QSE KW153s, 153s, two QSE KW181s. I used my Numark NS62. I used my Bluedio UFO Pro Plus for my DJ headphones. I used the Beam 230 moving heads, um, my Rockville DJ facade, um, um, and then that basically, and then my GTD audio wireless microphone. You know, and everything went well. We provided LED up lighting for the entire hall, and you know, the thing looked nice. We used blue for the whole color, everything like they wanted a static color, they didn't want any kind, nothing dramatic, just wanted a static, nice color, and everything. And that's what we did. That's what we gave them. And everything turned out really nice. The bride and groom liked it. The event coordinator was ecstatic. You know, she said everything turned out really beautiful. That, you know, um, it was way more than what they expected. So I was really happy about that, you know. And this is an event coordinator that has um, 
used my services before. This is the second time she's using it. The first time she really liked it. The second time she also liked it. So, you know, this is um, the beginning of a good business relationship. And usually that's how things like this start. You know, if you do well, if you perform really well and they like you, usually they will tend to call you back. You know, if your prices are good, you performed well, everything looked nice and classy. More, more often than not, they'll come back and meet you and then you have, uh, 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 you commence the a good business relationship and that's how you can sustain it and keep getting more clients keep getting more gigs because at the end of the day that's what we want we want more gigs you know everything turned out really nice i can't really complain the only thing is just that i'm tired you know and usually that's how all those kind of things are when you've done your heavy lifting you tend to be tired so that's how it is if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell button so that you guys can get notified about any new videos that i bring out you know and then anything you guys want to know leave a comment I usually respond to my comments as, as as quick as I can or as soon as possible. So you guys leave a comment. If there's anything you want to know, if there's anything that interests you about the event or about the gig log, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. So once again, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. It's your boy, DJ Floatings. You know how we do. Um, you guys keep practicing, keep gigging, and keep DJing. Make everybody smile. Keep rocking your dance floor. Over and out.